Honor. That's what the uh, makers of the game Red Dead Redemption 2 want to emphasize. They've pointed out here that players like this one here can help and aid those in need in the game. Now this game is, as you can see, uh, beautifully made and it's really become one of the smash hit games of the year. Let me just show you the trailer for this game to bring you into this world of realism uh, that allows you to interact with all these characters. But it isn't the honor that's getting people talking. It's not the good deeds. It is the level of graphic violence that's present in this game and the sheer player choice about who to attack, how to attack them. That has become controversial, particularly because once the game was released, gamers started clipping up what they were doing in the game and putting it online uh, for effect, for views. And one of those put it on YouTube. Let me now show you what that looked like. There is a character in the game who is a suffragette and this one user made several videos of his character brutally attacking that. Look at some of the headlines here. Annoying feminist fed to alligator beating up annoying feminist. That was viewed at 1.5 million times in the end and there was a, a barrage of comments underneath but a lot of support for this user saying well it's just a game. But that wasn't how other people saw it. Let's just bring you up what, uh, uh, what um, a journalist at The Guardian had to say about all this and she really, uh, Casey McDonald here, saying this really was upsetting, she's saying the most depressing thing she's read, that this got 1.5 million views, graphic violence against a female character who is obviously unarmed in this case. Um, and then all the comments, she's saying all the support this got. Now the user's YouTube channel was removed, it was taken down. We got a statement from YouTube saying it breached their rules on the level of content that you can post about violence and these sorts of things. But the, uh, the user who goes under the, uh, the name uh, Shirako said, well, hang on a minute, I spend the whole game attacking men, uh, that's fine, but when it comes to attacking a female character, that seems to get people upset. So it's becoming a heated issue. This is the controversy here. But I, I think perhaps one uh, person online who, who kind of sums this up, if you like, the debate that's going on here is this one here. It's Emmanuel. He says, look, it's a complicated problem. It's an open world game, which means player choice is key. You can be the honourable one, or you can do these acts of violence. But he's saying here, what isn't up for debate is there are gamers online, what he calls a reservoir of gamers, who still have this misogynistic attitude to women. So while the game is being praised and played en masse, it's the actions of certain players and how they've clipped up their experience of the game that has been controversial and got people talking.